YouTube, what is up? What is good? It's the boy Lee, and today, honestly, I I, would, I didn't even plan to make a video today. Um, I said I just was planning on recording something else, but just based on the, the pretty much the platform I kind of have right now, um, having a YouTube channel, uh, having some easy, you know followers on uh, Twitter and everything, I kind of felt need to put this video out. So as many as what you're probably seen, uh, you know, either also on social media or might be in the news somewhere, but um, during quarantine, iRacing uh, via NASCAR has definitely jumped in popularity. Uh, this seemed like caught fire, and even so much popularity that some people even prefer that over the actual, like I just want to say, real life racing uh, on the on the actual um, tracks. So definitely iRacing. Uh, it's grown on. It's been on. I'll be Fox. Uh, now people now uh, drivers are doing on Twitch. So that that definitely grew, grew. However, I believe it happened overnight last night. Uh, one of the more I guess I say popular drivers and good drivers, Kyle Larson, who I liked and was a fan of. Well, while racing, I'm not sure if he thought um, he was in like a private chat or I guess maybe his mic was muted or whatever, but Kyle also dropped the word you should not, I don't think anybody should really say, but definitely a white man, a white person in general shouldn't say, but that's the N word. And not just the N word, not the N word with the hard R, which is obviously has so much historical I guess sense to it. Um, honestly, I'm disappointed. It's just, it, it's just that me, just being an African American NASCAR fan. First of all, NASCAR has a such a. I don't want to say negative, but it's a bad stereotype. Because um, NASCAR is mainly like, um, like I guess I want to say conservative uh, sport. So. It, it just it just kind of like, like gives off like bad vibe of just being kind of like conservative or some people might think it's more of of a uh, racist sport. Um, honestly, to me, like I, like I never felt that way being a sports fan. I actually been to a uh, sport and race before. Uh, I felt welcome. You know, I was talking to diff different people during the race, just having just having fun. So like I'm like me being an African American sports fan, uh, NASCAR fan. I never felt any type of disrespect or any tension or anything like that, but just seeing, or he, well, speaking of which, uh, hearing, you know, Kyle Larson, a person that I liked in NASCAR, a good, like a good driver to me, use that type of language just pretty easily too. It was like, it wasn't, it wasn't like it's kind of like a joke or a comment or anything like that. Like it just came out fluid and that's what kind of just made it just like disappointing. It's like, it, 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 it it hurt, and honestly, I don't know what Kyle Larson gonna do from this. Obviously, um, I believe uh, just recently, like I knew that, like like a few hours ago, he was uh, pretty much suspended, and definitely without pay from Chip Ganassi Racing. Ganassi, Ganassi, Chip Ganassi Racing. So, uh, to be honest, I, like I think Kyle, Kyle Larson's probably NASCAR career is probably done. Um, because first of all, in that if in NASCAR, this it's so hard to get sponsorship. Like sponsorship is king in NASCAR. You can't you can't get any sponsors. You can't can't race the car because sponsorship obviously gets money, and obviously you need money to fund the fund the cars, build the cars, and be able to make the, each of the races during the weeks. So I just don't see any uh, sponsors or partnerships um, for Kyle Larson. So I just don't I just don't see a future in NASCAR from just because of that one event. <sighs> yeah, I just it, it just it just it just it sucks. It's like man, a, a sport a sport which I like a sport a sport where like I never felt any like like I guess I guess segregation or racism that. 
that that stare that that stereotype often gets, and then to see one of your favorite just drop dead words like man. And then like, there's also gonna put NASCAR in negative light too, because everybody could be like, ha, see, I I told y'all, NASCAR was this or that or ha ha, I told you like these, these stereotypes are actually true, so it, like, it, it's it's, it's kind of like a double negative for us. Like one, Kyle Larson is gonna be probably out of the NASCAR job. And the two, like they put NASCAR back in the negative light, where it seemed like NASCAR was kind of progressing a little bit to be like, "Hey, we're diverse. We accept everybody." That that all the previous stereotypes are false. So, but then, but also, again, at the end of the day, um, to be honest, like we should us even as black people. Black people, the African American community, I think, should just limit the N word. Um, I'll see the negative uh, historical types. I'll see what's the it, it, that word was just used to degrade us. It was used to make us second class citizens. It was pretty much used to put us down and make us seem as less of a person. And I'll see, I'll see it's used freely in conversations, used freely in songs. Um, but that's from my opinion on that. I don't think anybody really used the word, uh, regardless of race, regardless of anything like that. But again, um, Duffy just wanted to, to get this video out. Just pretty much spring how it feels being an African American NASCAR fan. Um, regards to me watching uh, NASCAR itself, um, I probably still will watch um, like NASCAR in general. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure it's going to affect. I'm not, I'm not sure it's going to affect how I like I feel, how how I like I view the entire sport in general. Because, like I said, like I said, like I said before, like I like go, like I went I went to a race two years ago, and like I said, like I didn't feel any anything bad. Like I I felt welcome. I felt just a part of like just everything. And I'll see like this one. I guess events might be more of a blimp on the radar, but. It's a pretty, pretty big blimp on the radar. So, um, I think for me, I, I still be, I still will be a NASCAR fan. However, um, I'm still just disappointed in Kyle Larson. Um, he did come out and apologize. He admitted to it, which is, which I definitely give him a round of applause for. Cause a lot of people might be like, "Oh, I ain't waiting to say that," or "I ain't mean it in a certain way." But yeah, he, he came up, he owned it. Um, so I give him credit for that. However, it still doesn't really take out the sting of what he, did, what he said or his, what he did. So, um, I'm not sure what's going to happen moving forward. But, um, like I said before, I'm pretty, much, I'm pretty sure that Kyle Larson won't be in NASCAR. Um, I just don't see him getting any type of sponsorship. I don't, I don't see any company, you know, saying they sponsor or will endorse uh, Kyle Larson uh, going forward. Uh, again, like I said, um, just going to put NASCAR in the bad spot again. That, so, they got to, you know pretty much take steps forward that they have that like like the person like take steps forward again to prove that they are uh you know welcome to all races and all that stereotypes are false um and then again i'll still be watching nascar but uh it is this things this things for sure so again thank you again for watching this um Again, like I said, like this wasn't really a planned video, but I just felt the need to speak on it, what happened, uh, just get my point of view, how I feel, how I think, how, how I think you know things will go, and I will see y'all next video.